Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here and today I'm going to be doing a video about how I annotate my books. And if you're not sure exactly what I mean by annotate, it really I would say is just kind of summarized in like note taking. So like taking notes as you read or however you want to do that, like whether it be in your book, whether it be in a notebook. Um, most of the time I believe when people are referring to annotating they mean like you're doing something in the book itself. Um, that's what I choose to do, but yeah, I think it can be different for everyone. But yeah, just note taking while you read basically. One question that we can kind of start out with is why should you annotate or why do people annotate? And I think that, um, again, I do think it's different for everyone, but for me personally, I feel like it keeps me like more engaged in the book. I feel like I'm paying more attention when I'm like actively like making note of something, whether that be like as little as like quotes for something, as little as like quotes in the book or like things that are notable. It really varies for me what I annotate based from book to book. Um, the example I'm going to use is the book that I actually finished today, which I'm really excited about um, to write a review about soon um, on my Instagram. Which if you don't follow me on Instagram already, I'll put that on the screen. I would love to have you over there. And yeah, this is the example we're gonna use is the Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, which is a like mystery thriller. I would say it's more a mystery than anything. I just read this for a book club that I have with my people that I work with and we just finished it and we're actually having our final book club uh, meeting tonight, which I'm really excited about. So as you can see, um, this is like fairly heavily annotated um, and I use post-it notes to annotate. Um, I don't like writing in the actual book. Um, I used to a little bit more when I was younger and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my personal favorite way to annotate. Um, I will write sometimes on little sticky notes. Oh, hold on one second. So sometimes I will write on these sticky notes. So these are like mini post-it sticky notes. And I will I have the same colors in those as I do in my tabs, which I'm going to show you in a second. And so like... I'll use this color that correlates with the tab to kind of like write if I have something that I want to write about. I didn't do that in this book because there wasn't really anything that I wanted to, but I've done it in a couple other books and I really like that as well. Other people will actually also highlight in there. Um, I don't do that either. I'm not opposed to it. I just haven't felt the urge to it. This is the system that I like the best for me personally. Okay, so what do the colors mean? Um, this is kind of a, a tricky question because for me, I try to use like a semi-similar like set of rules in each book so I can kind of like remember but either way I put a key actually in the front of the book which I'll show you in a minute um, of what each tab means so if I ever go back and reread it or if I let a friend borrow it and they want to look at my tabs like they know what I meant with those tabs. As a general rule of thumb so let's just do like general I like to do so this is the tabs that I use they're super cheap on Amazon. I'll link which ones specifically I get on Amazon in the description. But I will usually do, so blue I use for like sad moments because obviously blue typically is correlated with sad. Um, the green I use for like interesting plot points or like something I think is notable that I might want to go back and look at later. So green is kind of just like a noteworthy thing. Um, yellow is one that's pretty like I kind of go with whatever with that. Yellow also, you can tell the difference right here, but in the book, um, because they're kind of transparent, yellow and green look very similar. So if I run out of green tabs, I'll usually use yellow because green or like interesting things is usually what I tab the most. So like with this book, with it being a mystery, anytime I felt like I would look someone upon something that was like a clue, I would tab it with a green postmark so that, especially if you're doing it for a book club or like a buddy read, it's it's cool to be able to go back and know which things you want to discuss further um, or which things that you noted and like whether they actually did mean something. Um, yeah, so orange um, is another one of those things where it really just depends on the book. I kind of base it off of like if I want a specific character moment. So like with A Court of Thorns and Roses, like when I read that series was I haven't read the last book yet. Like like I would do like specifically like rise in moments or Pharaoh moments that I really liked um, that are for that specific character. For this book, I kind of did that. Um, my orange tabs are actually notable moments with a specific character. I don't want to spoil anything for this book, um, but like a specific character that gave important information 
I tabbed them in a different color so that I could go back to those easier. And then universally, um, the pink is for quotes that I like because I feel like that's the most common thing that I tab. And really the main reason I started tabbing is to keep track of quotes that I really liked in books. Because I just feel like that's so much fun. Like books are, one of the main things I love about books is like quotes that stand out to me. And so I want to be able to go back and pick up any book off my shelf, which we'll get into that later. I don't annotate every single book that I read and I'll get into why later. Um, but I do a lot mostly now. This is also fairly new for me. I just recently started this, so I'm not a professional in any sense. <laughs> um, also you don't have to do this. If you're not into this and this doesn't appeal to you, that's totally fine. I will say if you're trying to get more into reading, then this will probably help because it keeps you very engaged the whole time. Um, so yeah, the pink is for quotes and that's all. This just doubles up. So it has like two sets. Um, and then I have a bunch of these as well for fun. I also bought these. I haven't used these yet. Um, I like the colors of these. They're like fun pastels, but there's only three colors. So I'll probably use that on like a, a book that I know isn't gonna have much variety, like maybe a nonfiction book where like, oh, this is interesting. It's mainly gonna be the only thing I tab. Um, I like having all the color options so that like different things can have different meanings and yeah. So here is the kind of like key for this book. Um, this is going to tell, this is not a spoiler, but it's going to tell you what character I was talking about earlier, but this is what it looks like. These are actually something different. This is like a little library card thing that I have that was gifted to me. And if I can find where it's from, I'll link it below, but like it's basically just a little library card for the book. And so if anybody ever borrows it, they can write their name in. I just think it's really cute. Um, and it's a little sleeve that goes in the front of the book. And that is where I use my key here. Um, so I have, these are the only, I didn't use all of the tabs in this book. Um, I used the green and then I ran out of green. So I used yellow for notable um, things. So interesting or important. I don't know if this is flipped for you guys, so I apologize if it is, but anyways. Um, pink for quotes that I like, and then orange for Plague Doctor notable moments. So definitely a majority of green and yellow here, which is pretty common for me. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to go into besides, oh, my favorite pens to use. I also just recently got into book journaling, so I'm going to show you guys some of that in a separate video. But I really like these Sharpie pens in I don't know what size these are used in books um they don't really bleed through and most books obviously do like a test in every book so you never really know but I just love and I just love the way it looks and like feels and I love looking back at it and like if I'm curious like oh I remember I love this book what were some quotes that I liked I can just pick out and go and look and find it like super easily yeah I don't know it's just really fun and then if you're wondering like, okay, well, how do you keep up with all this stuff? Like if you're on the go, um, I have a book sleeve, which has been a game changer for me. Um, it keeps your book from getting like crinkled up in your bag. So like, instead of just throwing it in your backpack, um, you can put it in this and then put it in your backpack. Plus it holds other stuff. So I put my book in here and then I've got my, here's the rest of the sticky notes I was talking about. I got those on Amazon as well and I'll link them. Um, so I keep all my tabs and a pen in here and my book in here. And so then you just take this wherever you need to go instead of just the book, you pick the whole thing up and I keep everything all tidy and neat in there. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to, oh, um, how do I decide what, I don't really know how I decide what books I want to annotate. Um, typically I can tell as I'm reading if I'm going to want to or not. And some people say it can be distracting for them to annotate. I have the opposite thing where like, I feel like it takes me so much longer to get through a book if I'm annotating. But to me, that's cool because it means I'm really like engaged and like following along. Um, I'm also slightly OCD. So I have a thing where I feel like they all have to be like the same link. So like, like come out the same, like I, I'll be like, I wanted to make sure. Anyways, you see what I'm saying. So if you guys have any further questions about like how I annotate or like any tips and tricks, uh, I try to give some tips in this video. Just do what feels right for you. If you like something, then do that. If you don't like it, then change it up. Um, if you don't keep your books, there's a really cool hack I saw on TikTok or Pinterest that I'll put here where 
you use like a parchment, like a parchment paper or it's like some sort of transparent paper and you can write on that and you can actually put the tabs on that and you can take it out and like just keep those if you want. So like if maybe it's a book you don't own or like a library book or something, that would be a cool thing that you could do. Um, or if you don't want to put it in the actual book, that would be a good idea. But yeah, that's really all I have today. And I hope this was helpful. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.